Hey everybody, Adam Ward coming to you from Carlsbad, California. Just got done with a dawn patrol run, good 11 and a half mile, 90 minute tempo run after a, a 10 minute warm up at the beginning. So that's uh, pretty good, feel good. Get my heart rate heart rate in zone two or lower the whole time so that's good and uh, crazy this, uh, this I run this route every time I'm out here uh, except for when I have to do hill repeats and I business jet taking off from Palomar Airport. Um, I run this route uh, almost every time I'm here along the beach, except for when I have to run hill repeats, uh, which I ran earlier this week, had to go inland to, to get to the hills, but running this one low part, and I saw this truck in front of me go onto the shoulder like he was pulling over. A lot of surfers pull over and go to the beach, and then it pulled back into the lane. Uh, I'll maybe, maybe he changed his mind. And then the truck got really close to me and started swerving right into me, and there was no shoulder. And uh, I yelled you know, at the driver and got no response. I jumped off the shoulder, and uh, there's a lady driving a big SUV texting away on her phone. And the guy behind me was like, the guy behind her was <laughs> hanging out of his window screaming at the lady, you know, like, what in the world is she doing? And I'm like, I don't know what she's doing. And very dangerous. Um, I always run into traffic um, so that I can see the cars that are coming. If that would have been someone running behind me, she, she probably would have hit me because I had to jump out of the way of the of the way of her her truck. But that's just that's just scary. So if you're driving, please put this down. Um, you guys know from being on bikes and running that it, it's very dangerous already. And you don't need this. I had distracting you while you're while you're driving. Um, so this closed another week out. I've got my four-hour session on Saturday. Uh, did some more thinking about the race times, and my goal is to get four fifty-nine fifty-nine to keep it under five hours. I think that that'd probably be probably be solid. There are 700 plus feet of elevation change on the run and 2,500 or so elevation uh, feet change on the bike and I've been training hills on the bike, riding the Tour de France course and uh, running a lot of graded stuff. So uh, one of the things I was thinking about for you guys, you know, as you're getting into it, you know, some of you may have never swam before. Some of you may never run before, and I, you know, probably done some biking, you know, at least as a kid. But don't don't be discouraged by your performance relative to others. Uh, be um, charged by your performance relative to yourself. So your performance at the beginning should should uh, should start to increase the slope of increase would be pretty good and then it'll start to taper off and when it starts to taper off you'll need to either change your routine up or increase your training and that's one of the things I was thinking about three four miles into the run today was what if what if I were to, to get serious and have done this all the time could I be uh, top notch and that's a question I won't have to answer but uh, you know the, the top triathletes train just 34 hours a week. Craig Alexander's the same age as I am. He's a multi-time Ironman world champion. But I don't know. I've got a job. I work you know, 40 hours plus a week. Uh, getting in 10 or 15 hours of workouts, plenty for me. Keep track of yourself. 
keep track of myself once it starts dipping. I know we're doing something wrong. So. Alright. Carlsbad, California.